Hello, and welcome to another great episode of the Wellbeing Weekly, where we cover the three things that you need to know about well-being this week. I'm your co-host, Sonny Prabhakar, with your other co-host, Patrick McNally. And let's get right into it. So first thing you know about well-being this week, uh, Kaiser Permanente CEO Richard Isaacs came out with a great interview with WebMD's chief medical officer talking about not only the experience of COVID-19 from across the, the, world, the nation as their uh, health system is very spread out, but also talking about the importance of caring for psychological safety for their physicians. Uh, this renewed focus from someone in C-suite that's uh, completely dedicated to behavioral health and mental health and uh, total well-being is really refreshing to see. And that is why he's been one of the top 50 most influential people within healthcare. And so definitely go check out his interview and see his thoughts on not only the COVID-19 pandemic, but also on the psychological stress that it's causing. Great. Thanks, Sonny. Thing to know about well-being this week, number two. It's great to see an organization that's taking uh, the mental health and safety of their providers as important. Flipping over to one of our current partners, the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Mm -hmm. They are taking the, the mental health and well-being of their students as a high priority. They established the UAB CARES, a suicide prevention initiative. So this is going to be a combination of undergraduate, graduate students, faculty, and other staff that are leading an initiative to provide resources for all types of mental health and well-being services, and specifically suicide prevention initiatives. So kudos to one of our Wellbeing Index partners, UAB, for establishing a very important program. Yes, absolutely. Super big congrats to UAB. They've been a fantastic partner with us for years, and so exciting to see them getting recognition like that. So thing to know about well-being this week, number three. The National Academy of Medicine has put together a list of organizations who have uh, verbally and uh, in paper written down, committed to, to caring about well-being and mental health within the healthcare profession. And we're happy to say that the Wellbeing Index has joined those ranks and put in our own thoughts on why we think it's important uh, and why we thought it's important to publicly show our commitment to uh, the mental health and the uh, behavioral health and physical health of our healthcare professionals in the workforce today. It's never been a more important time to care for our healthcare professionals, and so we're happy to do it. Check out the article above uh, where you can see what we wrote and, and our thoughts on, on caring for the healthcare professional. But if you like this content and you like uh, the Wellbeing Weeklies and the or articles that we're bringing you, please do me a quick favor and boop, click subscribe here in the corner. Um, and we'd love to, for you to, to stay into touch with us and make sure that you never miss an episode of what's happening this week in Wellbeing. We'll see you next time. See you next time.